We are back for the second part of our problem, uh, study problem 6-11. So we have already a good idea about the annualized return for, uh, for Zemin. Let me remind you of what we got earlier. So the annualized expected, uh, well, the annualized return, previous return. So these are realized return in that case. Annualized return for Zemin was um, I believe we found out to be 20% versus the annualized return for the market which is 18% now let's go to the second part of the problem it turns out that our company has a 1.54 beta the market obviously beta is one right <laughs> uh, the market beta is always one the risk-free rate of return is four percent so this is the rate of return you would earn if you invested in the for example um, US Treasury bills so given that fact so what would have been an appropriate required return for an investor owning Zemin given this risk profile of 1.54? Uh, recall the difference between standard deviation and beta, right? So they both measure riskiness of an investment, but with, with a flavor. If you have a well-diversified portfolio, you add a new investment into that portfolio it makes more sense to look at the beta uh, of that security whereas if you are just investing in a single investment then you don't have to worry about the beta all you worry about is the uh, standard deviation of that investment now look, going back to our problem we will be making use of the capital asset pricing model obviously to calculate the required return the required return for our company for Zemin that's the name of our company would be equal to the risk-free return plus the beta of our security in that case Zemin times the market risk premium and let me actually write it in the long form it would be the return of the market minus the risk-free okay so let's just plug in the numbers the risk uh, free return uh, so 4% return on the riskless assets the treasury bill the beta for our company is 1.54 times the market return as I said earlier was 18% 18% minus the riskless return is 4% all now we need to do is to plug in these values that we did just do the algebra we get four percent plus um 1.54 times 14 percent which is 21.6 percent so therefore adding up these numbers we get 25.6 percent so that was the required rate of return for zemin for our security However, the realized return is below this value, right? The realized return for Zemin was 20%. This 20% is less than it, the required return. So in that previous, um, I believe, six months it was, our stock actually underperformed. So, um, so we can say in part C that... Um, compared with its systemic systematic risk that Zemin have measured in terms of its beta um, it was supposed to provide a 25% return whereas in the past six months it only provided 20% return so it did not perform as well as it should have uh, so you can write an explanation along these lines all right so that would do um, that would solve this problem and we are done.